Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. So we're going to be continuing on with our uh, good old Irish campaign. The Irish stock market's been going pretty, pretty well so far. We got 29 uh, factories, and we're going to get some improved uh, safety regulations. All Overall, everything seems pretty good. So we're about a year. Germans have accepted our request. Fantastic. So, uh, 189 political powers. Is there anything we can really do with that at the moment? I don't believe so, because we have to actually wait to work. At war, so we can ignore that for now. But uh, we are doing pretty, pretty well. We got 29 factories about a year away until the second build tree actually begins. And I believe we're in a pretty decent spot. We have right now uh, 12 divisions. I mean, it's not a ton, but it's also, you know, not nothing. And I believe an invasion of the United Kingdom, not the United Kingdom, I guess the Union of Britain, probably isn't gonna be like that difficult. Like, we're looking at about 20, probably about like 40 ish divisions. Uh, for Britain, which is a lot to be sure, but I'm, what we're banking on is that Germany or somebody will actually be able to send us some support at some point, and that'd be nice. I'll send over some uh, reinforcements. But I don't think with 12th Division, we probably cannot bust our way through. Um, I don't believe we're going to have an issue with invasions, uh, per se. I know sometimes England likes to invade Ireland. Um... During the war, but I think we should be more or less okay. Just because we're going to be invading them ASAP. Uh, we have our navy of 12 ships. Let's get everybody around uh, Dublin for now. We don't actually have an admiral, so put him in charge. And let's just take a quick look. Like, if we look to British ports, is there anywhere that Britain has that currently doesn't have any troops actually in it? The answer is no. The British are pretty well defended in every single one of the ports. Which is not atypical. The Brits love defending their ports for obvious reasons. I mean, it makes uh, perfect sense strategically. So I'm oh, looking, there might not actually be an easy way for us to invade. It might take until... It might, it might take... Until... The war actually begins for us to actually be able to do something. Just because the British right now is just only worried about defending their ports. Once the war actually begins, uh, hopefully Britain will at least send some troops down to France or send them to Norway. Send them somewhere. I think government's gotten pretty large. Who are you? You're the Shandong clique, the National Pacification Army. They're looking pretty solid. They already own most of China. Most of like the populated centers as well, other than maybe the federal government. But we're looking at a pretty large two um two faction war here against the United Provinces of China and the National Pacification Army. So who's gonna come out on top there? Not too sure. We might actually maybe even see a united uh China campaign. Who knows? You guys are at war. And Bulgaria is doing a pretty good job here. Probably gonna defeat the Greeks. At which point they could probably defeat Serbia and Romania. Like we'll, we'll have to see. Russia is still dealing with Turkestan. They're probably going to be getting involved in um Eastern Europe at some point. Is Finland in the Reich's Pact? They are. Almost everybody's in the Reich's Pact, so Russia is gonna have a difficult time breaking in, I think. I just like, need to take over the Don Cuban Union. And did they go expansion or they did go real politique? So, there's a chance maybe they can get annexed by the Don Cuban Union, but I'm not too, too sure. Because they've joined up with the German uh, alliance. Which they don't do that often. Let's see, France has 47. I mean, we know there's at least 102 divisions there. So, they're looking pretty strong. Italy's not getting too much done. So, overall... I would say we're in a pretty okay spot. Uh, the Dutch... I don't think they're going to go Syndicalist. It might be a little bit too late for that. Has the election happened yet? That is... Pushed. Where's the election event? Dutch Army, Dutch Air Force. Is there not a Dutch election event? I mean, because they've done the Pushed, I'm assuming... Yeah, like, they voted in the Conservatives. 
So we, we should be fine. They're definitely not going to go uh, Syndicalist. I mean, already in the Reich's pack. What the hell am I talking about? So, uh... The Reich's pack really can't... Other than not losing the Baltic Duchy, uh, which unfortunately they did against uh, Latvia and Estonia, we're almost at peak Reich's pact right now. Like, Spain could join the Reich's pact. They're standing alone, so never mind. They're not going to do anything. But aside from, let's say, two Sicilies, Spain and, um... Potentially Bulgaria and Romania, I guess, to a lesser extent... We're almost at peak European Reichs Pact. Because it's going to be it's going to be an extremely long front line against Russia. If Russia decides to invade, which I'm sure they will at some point, but already having a tough time breaking through the Turkestan Khanate. So what are the chances there they actually... I mean, how many troops do they have? Probably only around 100 divisions, which really is not a lot. Considering, in fact, there's actually like nobody on the... Russian border right now, they're pretty weak. You have to have 13 divisions. All of them, unsurprisingly, uh, ready to go and invade Norway at a moment's notice. You are going to be done soon. The output's nice. We can get some Irish women in the workplace, which is an extra... Some more growth. Which isn't bad. What... We still want to go down this from the armed forces. Kaiser Wilhelm Society would give us a bit of a cheaper technology. But I don't think we need to do this anymore, right? Like, we've already calmed down tension in Ulster. So I believe this tree is not meaningful anymore. So let's get some Irish women in the workplace. Then we can do some tax reform. Maybe that'll uh, help us out. Allow us to boost our industry even more. Like, a 30 factories is pretty, pretty nice. And we only need we need 31 to actually do the green uh the great green leap forward, so we're already looking pretty, pretty solid there. Uh you guys can deploy in Dublin whenever you are ready. Because yeah, you're light tanks, which we're kind of just using to get rid of them. And the Wildkrieg one tank divisions. Are these what the tank like the tanks are? I mean I guess like Germany, do you have better tanks unlocked? No, it looks like we're about the same. Germany really doesn't have anything too great. Maybe one of the other countries do, but I'm kind of doubting that. No, you have like nothing unlocked. How about Sweden? How are, how are you looking here? No, you have basic meat, light, light tanks. So... Really, nobody has any technology that we're really looking for at the moment. And by the way, you got Social Democrat. So at some point, you're going to purge the leftists, which actually is good for us. We do not want Ukraine to flip ideologies against us. We want a strong rights pact here. Okay, so you're going to ban French organizations. That can theoretically lead to war. I don't think it's going to. But again, it can. Uh, does it actually say in here that it can? Um, it doesn't. It's a little bit of stability for less political power. Which actually is not even that good. Militarist revival. Force support recovery rate. 3% recruit population is pretty nice. But you're, I doubt you would want to um I mean, you could destroy the international france is red britain is blue not too sure who uh designed that logo is poland in the right spec they are and i can't imagine austria actually joining a uh join the war anytime soon i think bulgaria is actually gonna lose i really thought they had a chance of winning but they did lose uh sophia already I mean, if they took Athens, defeated the Greeks, they can probably turn that around. But I don't know if I really have much confidence in the AI to actually get that done. Craig has spoken out. After several years of inactivity and silence, leader of the Ulster Unionist Party has spoken out regarding the status of Ulster and the Republic of Ireland. 
grown senile in the elder years, appears lively in a good mood as he viciously attacked the Irish government. His first major address of such kind since the ceasefire of 1925. Particularly chastised the current regime and the economic... Uh, did I not? I thought we got rid of the tensions there. Maybe I didn't, and he's a little bit upset. I mean, there's still two factories out of it, and four infrastructure. Not bad. And are these fast? No, they're all uh, full 70 day, unfortunately. I still don't believe we're going to be in a situation where um, it's going to rise up. I think we've already dealt, dealt with the tensions enough to not have to worry about that being a possibility. But uh, we shall see. Just one. Oh, why did I do that this way? Go here. Just need some heavy tanks. But you need heavy tanks to reinforce, right? You have 44 out of 120. The reinforcement should be top priority before we actually build another unit at all. Five hundred two. Like we have a ton of. We just have the manpower right now. We will train up. Let's say like three more divisions. Put them in Dublin. Okay, the Ottoman Empire is quite strong now. The Ottomans can theoretically help us out. It's pretty unlikely, but they can do it. Yeah, so you're all puppets now, the Ottomans. In Iran, I'm pretty sure you don't have much of a chance to actually win in any way in that war. Now that the Egyptians have capitulated. Pretty one-sided. I mean, do I want to... I could send volunteers, maybe, to um, Bulgaria. Like, we have one light tank division. The CSA, I think, is going to lose. I mean, hopefully, like, I also want to send volunteers to Canada so they can actually beat the CSA, because we do not want a, uh, a CSA-controlled America. The Pacific States or the American Union State, either of those would be fine. American Union State more so, because I think they're the ones who can actually join up with the Reichs Pact. I mean, do they have any of this stuff cored? Virginia's a core. Washington's a core. So they actually have a core a bunch of this territory. A little bit unfortunate for us. Let's put you into uh, the invasion force for now. I mean, just... You know, we will send you... Do I have, a, like, a panzer expert? No, I have a guerrilla fighter. But I will send you to Canada on... Just hoping that, um... We can maybe cut down the CSA a little bit. Or PSA. Hello, Matthew. How are you? Well, we're sending a, a tank to Canada. So hopefully, maybe we can punch away to, like, Chicago or, uh, I mean, any of these major cities. Because you are not... You're occupied states. Did Canada never have the, uh... The New England question? I could have sworn they did, but maybe they got annexed at some point. Yes, you are going to be done in eight more days. I mean, tax reform seems good. Kaiser Wilhelm Society, things like that could be useful as well. No to what? Um... I mean, things are looking pretty dicey here. Uh, they have a lot of troops. They have a lot of men. So it's like, you're kind of falling apart. Does Canada have military access through you? They do. They just want to send any troops to that front. You know what's a plan? We're going to send our tank here. We're going to try to... If we can't kill this one province, all of these CSA troops are going to get surrounded. Which seems pretty, pretty good if we can actually get that done. I mean, I know, it's, again, it's just a light tank, so he's not that good. 
We have submarines unlocked? I don't. We probably still want to maybe do that. Build a Walmart military factory. Let's go for this, and let's go towards the, the Great Greenleaf Forward. We get two research slots out of it. It's pretty solid. Okay, it looks like the PSA is pulling troops out. We also got some troops from the Philippines here. Did Philippines join the Entente? They did, okay. You know, sometimes you just gotta take a refresher about like what's actually uh, been happening here. So we'll get some construction speed. Do we? Does excavation one help us at all? A little bit with steel. So I'm I'm gonna get excavation one here. That is China. We don't care about them right now. Like it would be easier. Bangor. I mean, this is. Better troops. So maybe we do want to take Bangor out. They're moving troops around. Three divisions. Do you have some reinforcements? Some guys helping us out. If we can make this work, uh, we will put, let's say, one off of infantry equipment. Upgrade you. And now we already automatically need more steel. Beautiful. Did a little bit more with the Germans. So we can see if we can get this to work. Because this is... I'm looking at... A lot. There's like probably like 15 divisions right here. If we can clean that up... That's probably... Almost 10% of the CSA's army right there dead. We got some reinforcements moving their way in. This is probably one of the better showings that the... Uh, the Canadians have actually had against the CSA, I feel. Compared to how they normally perform. But I believe Bangor should fall. I mean, it would fall if these guys would actually help us out with the attack. So never mind, we were doing pretty well until the AI decided they don't actually want to win the war. Okay, so now you are helping me out again. Again, I think this is the easiest place to attack. Except as soon as they put reinforcements in there, that makes this a little bit trickier. For sure. And the, uh, and the French have actually landed in Washington. So, I mean, that seems pretty good. How close are the CSA to actually capitulating, though? They are at 80%. Not too, too bad. Oh, they're actually all leaving? Okay, they are being a little bit stubborn here. I can understand why they would be stubborn, but I do not like it. As soon as these two guys leave... Like, we need to attack this guy. You are helping me out. Maybe the AI will realize that what I'm trying to do is best. What the AI is trying to do. What the CSA is doing is bad. They definitely do not want to break, unfortunately. Okay, you're attacking us. You're going to probably break. Setting troops here. I mean, is this the best? This I think this still has got to be the best place to actually try to make an advance. As long as we take one of these two areas, that's pretty solid. Yeah, please come back to reinforce. I know you're getting pretty weak already, but. I mean, if you lose this province, that is a 
less than ideal, obviously. You guys are doing pretty solid in New York State. Did lose Detroit. Two divisions, three divisions are trying to fight this off. If I send troops here, that will make the front line a little bit bigger, but that doesn't actually help you at all. And the Pacific states do not actually care about standing in Canadian territory. They actually only want to be in their own territory. Let's see. You guys still holding Washington? You are. Not too sure how you got into the middle of nowhere. I mean, we could try and advance onto uh, Detroit. But I kind of think that this area... It was a good idea. But her execution, I think, was a little bit off. Also, can you strategically redeploy over there? The answer apparently is no, they do not want to do that. We are going to try to make the United States our friend. It, it, it's not like the, a Reich's Pact friend, at least an Entente friend. Somebody who will not join the International. That's what I'm considering uh, a friend at this point. DSA did rise up here, which is probably going to take too many troops off the front lines. Which can definitely be an issue. How long do you actually get to this front? It'll take like you 39 days because you refuse to strategically redeploy. Yeah, I'm not, it's not, still not too sure if there's a way to force them to do so. If there is, I've never figured out how to do that. Okay, let's get some industrial research priorities done. We want those research slots. A small step for Ireland. Some of the government wants a purpose in mind, a devotion of academia and scientific progress. Ireland has long been since seen as a world backwater by the world powers, a place that progress seemed to leave behind. Um, 25 political power. Yeah, we have 333 political power. Massively fund the project. At least for right now. Still have no tank factories or tank designers, so not too much I can do there. All you gotta do is make sure to stop the CSA and max fund science. In the words of Bill Nye, science rules. So of course we're gonna fund that to the maximum. And Iran was annexed by the Ottomans. Not a huge surprise to I think anybody. Uh, but it did look like the French who landed in Washington. Did end up losing it. Which is a real shame. Why did this front line get so large? We don't want it over here. We just want it around Buffalo. Buffalo or, like, or Detroit? Like I'm looking at this and I'm thinking... Maybe to... Do like Detroit-ish? Still refuses to strategically reapply, but what can you do? Send agents to the CSA. Man, I do have agents. Uh, let's go around Detroit. You could become the spy master of the Reichsback for 50 political power. And he... Like, why not? Let's do it. 50 political power is nothing. Let's become a spy master. We now have two more open slots. So we can at least get some more operatives. Which allows you to actually do anything. But unfortunately, with just one operative, you can't do anything at all. We can have one more if we hire... We have five slots. We actually need to research, I think, one more thing. And then making an extra agent. So let's go, not suicide pills. Anti-partisan. That's probably gonna help us in our invasion of England. 
That'll be done in 29 days. It's going to take a lot of our civilian factories, but really just building a military factory. Death of W.B. Yeet. Probably not, that's probably not how you pronounce it, but... Ireland Mind. Uh, Morn's a great poet. Sad day for the nation. But we're pretty close right now to the Viltkrieg. Like, not... Like, half a year, maybe. So we have to... We have to be ready. And I'm not... I mean, we're about, I think, as ready as we possibly can be. Norway's dead. Absolutely no question about that. What, we're, what I'm worried about is... Will we be actually able to easily land in Britain? Kind of like all these naval techs. They're, like, they, they research pretty fast. And we need to... Um, Make sure we can at least somewhat survive against the British Navy. Okay, so you're now at war with... You're at war in India, but I don't think that matters too much. A ton of manpower. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 54,000. We have three fresh new divisions. I got 10 guys ready to go for the invasion of uh, Liverpool, but I'm not too sure, like, 